Hi, in this video today I will show you how to do the configuration to run the ASP.NET classes on your Windows PC. Okay, so now let's get started. In this, in this video, I'm using the Windows 10. Okay, so here, first I will open the browser and I will type in the local hot. So here, if you see this message, this side cannot be reached. That means the services on the on this PC you know support for for, for for hosting the website underneath of the local hot. Okay. So now follow me. I will guide you how to do it. Okay. So you open the control panel. Okay. You click on the program. And underneath of the program and features, we have a turn window features on or off. Okay, close this one. Okay. So here, when you are running the ASP or ASP.NET on the Windows PC, you will do the same activity by active the Internet Information Services on the window. Okay. So here, you click on the Internet Information Services. Expand this one. And so now you go ahead to enable, enable all of the service underneath of the Internet Information Services. For the web management tool, also enable own. Okay. One wide web service. Okay. You also enable for own here. The whole thing. Yeah. You, you see here, if you only want to run the ASP Donets, you don't need to enable this one. ASP.NET here, that means this is the classic ASP. Yeah. If you also want to run the ASP.NET on your PC, you should check on another option. Okay. Enable on the service here. Okay, there are some the Internet Information Services option here. You should enable it as well. Okay, so, so now here you come back to the top. And if you are running the .NET, you should enable the .NET Framework 3.5, .NET Framework 4.8. Okay. And after that, when when all of the service is selected, you click on OK button here, on the bottom of the right hand, to do some configuration. It will take some time to finish the configuration for your PC. Yeah, so now here the installation is finished. You click on close button here. Yeah, and then you come back to your browser. And refresh this one by access the local hot. Yeah, so now here you can see the internet information services default page is running. If you see this page message, that means you have not installed the internet information services or the IIS on your PC successfully. Okay, so here after we, after you install it successfully on this PC. You open the this PC and go to the C drive. Okay, we have a a folder name is the inet pub. Okay, so here click on open this one, and in this folder we have another subfolder called it the www root. This folder will be hosting all of the shortcuts of the of the um, website running underneath of the IIS. Okay, so here I start at dot HTML. This is the default page of the Internet Information Services. Okay, so here I will try to create a new new file here, or I can create a new folder. I will name it a my um, ASP Classic. Okay, 
in this folder I will create a new file okay I will create a new file outside this I will name it e index dot asp something like this okay I copy and paste it inside the my asp classic folder okay so here I will try to edit this file open it with any text editor okay <clears throat> and here I will try to enter some of the message here hello save it and then I back to the web browser okay I copy the folder my ASP classic okay my ASP classic enter it's forbidden okay let me see I will have grant the permission for everyone can access this folder okay back to browser and try to refresh this okay local hot let me see I will have a uh, index.asv enter here so here you can see the message e hello okay and let me try to edit this code in this of only enter the text machine here I will try to write the ASP classic code okay we have HTML HTML I will have body okay and inside the body I will write some of the ASP code yeah this is a syntax to write the ASP code I have a response dot write I will have the message inside this I will have hello one from GNVS okay save it okay so now here I will back to the browser and I try to refresh this one yeah so you see here, I have the message, the hello one from GNVS. Yeah, it seems working fine for now. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to do the configuration to set up the working environments for the ASP classes on the Windows PC. I hope, the, I hope this video will have fun for you. If you think this is helpful, like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel to get updated okay thank you for watching bye bye and see you guys in the next video